Well, hello everybody. Uncle Wooly here for what is now part one of Wind Waker Wednesday. Very, very excited to start a first playthrough of this game. It has been way, way overdue because I am such a huge fan of the, the Zelda series, but I did kind of skip the GameCube uh, Wii years of Zelda. So I have missed out on, of course, the uh, wonderful Wind Waker, Twilight Princess. So we're gonna remedy at least part of that with, uh, with Wind Waker here. Uh, first of all, uh, GG's on first, uh, Hagel, GG's dude. Also Jack, good to see you, AC. Wonderful to see you. Thank you very, very much for the resub. Can we get some hearts in chat for AC, please? Uh, went a bit screwy with the tracker I use for the randomizer, so I can't get it to connect. Oh, no. Um, a Wind Waker uh, randomizer, or are you uh, playing a different game that you're doing a uh, randomizer with, AC? Good to see you, though. My goodness. It's been a while. Hopefully you're doing good. Hopefully you're uh, staying safe and healthy and all that good stuff. Oh, Minish Cap. Okay, easily my favorite entry in the Zelda universe. That's another one I haven't played, and I've been somewhat absent on the handheld ones. But as I understand it, I can now start playing some of those on the Switch, which is super cool. Very, very cool. Um, tonight's stream beer, since we're going to be sailing, I assume, uh, we need some Wayward Cargo. This is a tiki style smoothie sour from uh, Drecker Brewing. And this thing has, um, well, it's a collaboration between Woven Water and Drecker Brewing. And it has pineapple, banana, cacao, and coffee. I uh, haven't had this one yet, but it sounds very, very interesting. So we're gonna give that a Hey, <laughs> that's my beer. Hey, that's my beer. Hey, I just started stream, but you're more than welcome to hang out here. Melly, how was your stream? You had kind of a long one today. I was lurking. I, it was a bit of a busy day for me at work. How is Starfield treating you? Tell us all about it or as little as, or as much as you want. I've heard it's really, really good. Um, so hopefully you're enjoying it because uh, yeah. <laughs> I could understand such, uh, you know, Bethesda RPGs are just uh, easy to get lost in. So I, I hope you're uh, getting fully immersed. And uh, if you need a raid and run, I totally understand too, because you just got done with a long stream. So please, please, please take care of those uh, post stream self care needs. I'm not kicking you out by any means, but I do uh, want to make sure you take care of yourself. I hope they update a little optimization, but excellent. That is good. <laughs> that is good. And this is my first playthrough. I can't believe it's uh, I've slept on this game for so long, but I never had a GameCube uh, back in the day. So, but welcome on in Raiders. My name is Uncle Wooly, and I suppose um, while I pour out my beer here, I can uh, give you some puppy camera. For those that don't know my puppy dogs, uh, Roxy is the Jack Russell on the left. She's 14. And Lucy is being very elusive. She's usually the Shih Tzu on the right. And she is five. Oh, she's going to greet the Raiders. <laughs> there you go, Luce. Hello, puppy dog. <laughs> What good girls, sweet babies. But hopefully everyone's having a wonderful Wednesday and Melly, thank you very, very much again for the raid, my goodness. Let me get some hearts in chat for Melly, also some hearts in chat for AC. AC hit us with a eight month resub, my lord. of this thing and get it up on the uh, the old discord if you will and Melly I don't think I've talked to you because you started Bloodborne recently um, I don't know if I've caught the rest of your Dark Souls 2 playthrough on the VODs um, what did you think of the uh, the rest of the DLCs and, and the ending of, of Dark Souls 2 
Bloodborne is just amazing. So very, very excited that you are starting that. Bloodborne is so good. Underwhelmed by the last of uh, Dark Souls 2? I, I honestly thought that the DLCs were probably some of the better spots and the mid to late game is kind of where it really shined. Um, but the very final bosses or boss, sorry for spoilers, um, is underwhelming, if that's what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Throne Watchers was a fun fight, but otherwise, yeah. Um, like Nashandra for being like the big bad, uh, pretty underwhelming. Pretty underwhelming on that one. All right, let me give our Raiders a big old cheers. Without spilling my beer, I poured it right up to the brim here. Big cheers, Raiders. Wow, that is very interesting. So tonight's beer is Wayward Cargo. It is a tiki smoothie sour. It has pineapple, banana, uh, cacao or cocoa nibs, and coffee. And that is such a unique flavor. That is such a unique flavor. That is good. I really do like it, but boy, is that unique. That is very unique. It's like that bitterness um, from the coffee and the cocoa plays really well off that sweetness of the pineapple and the, and the banana. Wow, that is really cool. I really like what they've done with that. That is very interesting. I'm gonna have to go in for another one. Yeah. Yeah, you, you wouldn't be able to drink more than one of these at a time. But it, it's so interesting. Like, very unique beer. Yeah. I really do hope Nintendo brings Capcom along to do another Zelda game for them if they go back. Oh. That would be cool. I still need to do Tears of the Kingdom, but uh, with the full slate of games and everything that's coming out and everything that's on my schedule, uh, Tears of the Kingdom might have to be an off-stream game for me. I think I would just be too overwhelmed with that. But that's okay, right? <laughs> Boring game year? Nah, not at all, Hegel. <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> it's, uh, it's overwhelming. Oracle of Ages and Seasons and Minish Cap are good games. And aren't both of those um, coming to Switch on the new, like, the Switch Online update? I know Minish Cap was. Between Bloodborne, Baldur's Gate 3, Starfield. <laughs> right? Um, Alan Wake 2 is coming out in October. Uh, we have uh, Armored Core 6 is out. We also have um, Lies of P and Mortal Kombat 1 coming out. Uh, this month, embarrassed for choice. Very embarrassed for choice. My lord. Coming over, but I hope they get a full remaster like Link's Awakening. And that's another one I need to play too is Link's Awakening. Yeah, so many good games this year. It's crazy. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> but speaking of games, uh, should we get into some Wind Waker? Should we do that? I'm excited. Very excited for this one. I, I'm in love with the series. I will preface it with my uh, favorite 2D Zelda. Um, it's got to be linked to the past of ones that I played. And of course, um, my favorite 3D Zelda is it's got to be Ocarina of Time. It's so good. So many childhood informative memories with those two games. So I got to give it to them. <laughs> Uh, ages and seasons are unique in that they form an overarching story uh, when you play the games in sequence. Ooh, that's cool. Should do a marathon like that. That would be really cool. I got stuck uh, really early in ages as a kid thanks to being puzzle focused of the pair. Don't think I even got out of the second dungeon. Ooh, that's tough. Yeah. All right. Oh, and the music so far, just on the title screens of this. Just amazing. <laughs> Stuck on a farm 
I've played hundreds of hours of A Link to the Past in Ocarina of Time, right? <laughs> um, such good games. And let me know on uh, audio balance here if I need to change anything with the volume level here. Oh. Absolutely love the music on the title screen here. Good number of locations in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom actually reference Minish Cap. Okay. So one thing I did not tell you guys I was going to do is we're actually going to name Link together. So throw in some ideas for a name for Link. Oh, my controller is not working, of course. <laughs> Uh, bear with me one second here. I might have to close the game. I might have to close the game. Bear with me. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we're going to have to close the game. Uh, I don't know about that one, Hagel. <laughs> that that one's a, a little sus. Just a little sus. Linkle, uh, one of my go-tos for Minish Cap since... Uh... Oh, yeah, Tingle, yeah. Lonk? <laughs> That's a good one. Wimpy. Lonk is pretty good. All right, so... Hey, Spetwo. Welcome in, Sparrow. Um, you know what? All right, so we got Splinter, um, Kalamari, Lonk, Zoraldo. We could do a Zoraldo instead of uh, Splinter. <laughs> so I think we got four we can work with here. So let's do who is Link? Calamari, Zoraldo, Blanc, or what was our other one? What was our other one? Um, Linkle. That's it. <laughs> Welcome in, Sparrow. Good to see you. All right. I'm going to throw the poll up. Who is Link? Calamari. Blanc, Zoraldo, or Linkle. I'm going to give this poll uh, three minutes. So the poll is open. What are we going to name Link on this playthrough? <coughs> what are we going to name this little dude? Poll is open. And Wimpy, good to see you, dude. Big cheers to you. That, I can't even describe how that beer tastes to people adequately, honestly. It's got like a little bit of a tingly bite to it, too. That just kind of, the sour, how it kind of uh, makes your tongue kind of salivate. Uh, it's got that, too. 3% mental capacity, but that 3% demands to be entertained. Well, I'm sorry, uh... <laughs> If I can only give that 3%, 2%. <laughs> Little bit of a tingle, yeah. Yeah. So who is Link going to be named? Calamari, Lonk, Zoraldo, or Linkle? These are fun names. <laughs> These are fun names. I suppose I need to click back into the game here. D stream. I'll try to come back and see who wins. Hey, Melly, thank you very, very much again for the raid, by the way. Uh, enjoy your lurk. Hopefully you enjoy some good food, some relaxation, some rest from the screens for a bit uh, since you had a long stream. Uh, can we get some hearts for Melly, please? Some hearts in chat. All right. Calamari, Lonk, Zoraldo, 
or Lincoln. Got, uh, I think, a couple minutes, minute and a half left here on the poll. Randomizer streams, I always do a different link rhyme. The last one was Dink, which was a perfect coincidence because I had a purple tunic. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Um, and I love watching some of these streams that people have done on Zelda games where they just have ridiculous <laughs> names. It's fun. As a kid, though, I was one of those boring kids, I will say this, that always named the character Link. So that's why it's fun to, you know, stream it and make you guys, you know, get me out of my boring shell just a little bit. Adult Link or Kid Link or that weird in-between. So it's mostly Kid Link, I think, in this one. I forget how it fits into the crazy timeline. Um... Yeah, I forget how the... Because there's like the triple branch of how things uh, worked out. And Lonk is our winner. Lonk is our winner. Cartoon Link is all I know to call him. And nil, always. Oh, like backwards Link. I like that. That ended up somehow naming this character Thief. <laughs> that is interesting. Wimpy. We got Lonk on our journey. So here we go. Thank you all for uh, taking part in the poll. And we're about to depart on our adventure with good old Lonky boy. Cheers, cheers. This is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. It was a prosperous land, blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died and the hour of doom seemed at hand, a young boy, clothed in green, appeared as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the Dark One away and gave the land light. This boy, who traveled through time to save the land, was known as the Hero of Time, from Ocarina of Time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. Once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. But the hero did not appear. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. I will catch up on chat too. 
The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to guard boys in green when they came of age. Clothed in green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. The elders wished only for the youths to know courage like the hero of legend. So we eat. Yep. Yep, you summed it up very perfectly there, AC. <laughs> Oi, big brother. <laughs> this is cute. Of course he's sleeping. He's always sleeping. <laughs> and she can see with her two eyes, but of course she uses the telescope. <laughs> That is me most mornings, to be honest. I knew you'd be here. <laughs> this is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the goals, I call it a Rills Lookout. So do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big brother, it's your birthday. Can we get happy birthdays for Lonk, please? Um, I guess we need to play a song for him, too. We could do that. Happy, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Hope you have a happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Lonk. Happy birthday, dude. That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? <laughs> Let me get caught up on chat here, too. Sky Pacer, my goodness, dude. Filling the mug of three hoppy humans. Thank you for those gifted subs. Lighthawk, uh, Rejected, and uh, Excel Saga. Make sure you thank Sky Pacer for the gifted subs. <laughs> and thank you for the biddies, too. Happy uh, happy Hump Day. Happy Lonk Adventure Day is what we named him. We named him Lonk, L-O-N-K. <laughs> Thanks to some names from, uh, from chat, and uh, specifically that one came from Wimpy Ostrich. The art style is amazing, I agree. And welcome in, Arthur, by the way. Welcome in. And uh, Princess Kyora, welcome in. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome in. Um, so the prologue is the events after Ocarina of Time when Ganon gets sealed away in the adult timeline leading up to the present day. And I agree on the art style. So that carried through the art style in a Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. And some of that art style is in Breath of the Wild, too. But, uh... A book of myths in that style would be amazing. I agree. Triangle Man hates Particle Man. They have a fight. Triangle wins. Triangle Man. <laughs> I love that. Can we get some hearts in chat for Sky Pacer? Thank you for the biddies and for the gifted subs, dude. And Princess Kyora, hopefully you're having a wonderful Wednesday. There's really two big things to remember for Zelda continuity. Ocarina of Time has three splits for if Ganon wins, Ganon loses, Child Timeline, and Ganon loses, Adult Timeline. The second is that Breath of the Wild takes place far enough in the future to be considered its own continuity. Yep. <laughs> it's crazy. The Zelda timeline is very, very convoluted to understand. It's almost like trying to understand uh, 
some of the story of of Kingdom Hearts or even uh, uh, Final Fantasy VII can get very convoluted too. I'm doing well, doing well. Uh, still recovering from from my bout with the virus, but uh, doing a lot better today. Thank you for asking. Hopefully you're doing well. We do have an ad starting soon for our non-sub friends. Just a quick heads up there. Every time uh, any series introduces time travel as a thing, the timelines get increasingly chaotic. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed they do. But that's okay. That's okay. So maybe we should save. Definitely do that. Continue playing? Absolutely. Absolutely, we'll continue playing. Okay, so crouch. Okay. Hurry up, big brother. Grandma's waiting for you back at the house, and I'm sure everyone else on the island wants to say hello to you, too. Oh, come on now. Oh, my joysticks are backwards. That's going to take some getting used to. <laughs> I'll fix that before next stream, I think. Or it might be... Uh... No, it's just backwards on the... Uh... The ladder. Oh, boy. I hope she does have birthday presents ready. What about Soul Reaver? Now, that's one I haven't played, and I need to. Can you just climb up there, Link? Thank you. There we go. And uh, Princess Kyora, if you have a preferred nickname or preferred pronouns, feel free to share those too. I do want to make sure you feel welcome here. It's good to see you. And I uh, also know that you stream too, so let's definitely uh, get some shout outs out there. Oh, you were playing uh, Crisis Core recently. How uh, How is that treating you? Are you on a first playthrough? Uh, feel free to tell us as much or as little as you want about it. Watchtower Forest of Fairies. Okay. Oh, this art style is cool. I am loving this a lot. <laughs> Tell me Kai if you like. Um, pronouns are she, her. Thank you for sharing. Thank you very much for sharing. I do want to make sure people feel welcome. Yep. And just to let people know, this uh, might annoy you, but I'm one of those characters that constantly rolls as Link, so uh, or Lonk in this instance. So, <laughs> boy, Lonk, what's that? Today's your birthday. Well, congrats, buddy. Are you that old already? Wow, time just flies right by, doesn't it? You blink and poof, there goes another year. Why? I swear I just cut the grass in this field the other day, but look how tall it's gotten already. Say, do you want to try cutting it, Lonk? You'd be surprised at the things people drop in the grass. It's fun. It's like a treasure hunt. Except you're going to need some kind of grass cutting tool if you want to cut the grass. That's just common sense, buddy. <laughs> I was about to ask if he was going to lend some tools or, or what. Uh, aw, those are kind words, Sparrow. Crisis Core is awesome. It's second playthrough. Okay. So you've already experienced the uh, total uh, emotional damage uh, of that game. Honestly, one of my favorites uh, of the series. It, because 7 is my favorite of the series, so it really adds that extra depth to that story that I really do love. 
Minish Cap randomizer tracks a lot of stuff, and after every seed, my roll count is a minimum. Oh my lord, AC, that's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. <laughs> Link's eyes or the other guy's eyes? Ah, there you go. <laughs> oh, look at this kiddo. Oi, Lonk. Hey, is it true that if you just have a little courage and run as fast as you can, then you jump to the rock out there? Huh. Is it? Is it? Tell me. Well, let's find out, right? Nice. Got it. Yep. Yep. Wow, I hope I'll be able to jump like you someday, Long. Good luck, kid. <laughs> Good luck, kiddo. I just saw a wild, a wild pig. Ooh, see, look. That black one there. Don't you see him? This is perfect. My wife was just telling me how she really wanted a pet. You ready to go grab it, Long? Now, you can't just run up on it. Pigs are too alert about their surroundings for you to just jog up and capture one. If you want to get close to one, you have to hold R to crouch and tilt left stick to crawl slowly up behind it. Slowly. You could also distract it with bait, I guess. Oracle games, the rupee values are all messed up. Green is one, red is five, blue is 30. Oh yeah, that is weird. That is weird. see here <laughs> and the sound it makes too is is really funny <sighs> got him he saw me but good thing it's not a full stealth game Oi! oh no That's correct. You're a smart one. You, my friend, have just L-targeted me. You see, when you press L, you can target certain objects. I, for one, use it quite often to talk to folks who are far away from me. Of course, if there isn't anything around the target, you can press L to face forward, you know. It's quite handy indeed. There are a myriad of other ways to use L-targeting as well. Quite an ingenious little thing, if I do say so myself. Of course, that's not the only trick in my bag. Not remotely. I can teach you a few more things if you'll just climb up that ladder over there and drop by my room. Well, you made me drop my pig, so... Where's this guy's wife so we can uh <laughs> just tossing pigs at people. Can we call it bacon? I mean we could. Old man made me yeah, made me drop my pig, darn it. <laughs> oh Lonk, happy birthday. Hey, did your sister Aril find you? She was supposed to tell you that your grandmother's looking for you. Speaking of your sister, she saw me at work the other day, and she said she wanted to learn to carry jars on her head like me, so she could help your grandma with chores. So if you see her, tell her that all she has to do is stand in front of a jar and press A to carry it. To put the jar down, she just has to press R. Can you tell her that for me? Sure. No, I'm... 
Yeah, I don't want to catch the pig again. Pick him up. You're supposed to grab him, Blonk. <laughs> You henceforth will be known as Bacon. There we go. This poor pig, I am totally terrorizing the poor animal. But his little uh, oinks when you walk with him <laughs> are so cute. I wonder if this is his wife. Why? Did you bring that little pig all the way up here just for me? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I've been thinking of getting a pet pig for a while now. The boys will be so happy when they get home, you sweetie. Okay, Lonk, hold out your hand. This is your reward. Don't spend it all in one place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why, this little darling is cute as a button, you know? It's so cute that I wouldn't mind having even more of them. All right, more pigs. Let's get more pigs. Why, did you bring me another piglet? Oh, were you all worried that this little guy would get so lonely hanging out inside the fence all by himself? That is the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Thank you so much for bringing us yet another family member. Here's a little something for you. Man. <laughs> that is fair, Sparrow. That is fair. You find other any other little piggies, you know where to bring them. Oh, is there one all the way back there? Yeah, let's go get that one. I know Grandma needs me to go home for her birthday, but this uh, little birthday adventure is fun. I'm gonna ignore this kid's snot bubble. It's pretty gross. Somebody needs to get him a, a handkerchief or something. Yeah, that kid has issues. He needs a tissue. Oh, this is very charming and fun. <laughs> I did need a cute little uh, palette cleanser from how difficult Proud Mode was in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> no! Come back, piggy. Oh, cool. There's a green roofie under there, too. Let me make sure to come back for that. Come on, little guy. <laughs> this poor pig. This poor little piggy. <laughs> We're almost there, little guy. Almost there. You sure do know where to find the cutest pigs on the whole great sea. Hey, oinker, oink, oink. Oh, now things will be ever so much more lively in the pen. It'll be like a big pig jamboree in there. Thank you so much. Oh, that's right. I can't let you leave without giving you a present. Happy birthday, Long. All right. <laughs> I guess I'd better think up some names for these little oinky winkies, huh? But we got bacon as one of them. So if you guys can think of other names for this. Oracle games, timeline wise, Ocarina of Time. Yep. AC's got you covered, Sparrow. 
Oh, kid. Uh, your grandma was calling for you, Long. And so was my mom. So, so what's for dinner at your house tonight, Long? Can you come up the hill later and play? This kid needs to go to bed. He's clearly sick. <laughs> All right, back to my jar smashing ways. Bacon, lard, and Steven. <laughs> um, Steven Roth, after our favorite uh, silver haired uh, villain. Right? Steven Roth. Yeah, the kid does clearly need a Kleenex. Alright, so I can't get that one yet, apparently. Okay, can I... Oh, there we go. Totally didn't think of a dog. Yeah, I need dog names too. There's a boat out there. Okay, that's uh, the sea. We shouldn't go that way. Oh, what are you doing, Link? I pressed the uh, sidle button. Oh well. I watched a video a while ago going over the rupee values across every game to see what the general trend was. <laughs> a little water never hurt anybody. Eh, a little drowning has definitely hurt people. <laughs> a little drowning has definitely hurt. growing up, Lonk, which means you're going to need as much wisdom as you can get from this point forward. And if you want to be wise, you must first know things. Now, I was born before you, so I know all sorts of things. Yes, I've been studying all manners of topics for many years now. Now, I can tell you're a smart lad. Lately, I've been thinking it's time for me to pass some of my wisdom down, and I think you're the one. I'm going to pass it down too. Count yourself lucky, lad. Everything that you see tacked to the walls here is something that I've researched thoroughly. And before you ask, yes, I know my filing system is odd. Organizational issues aside, however, it's all extremely useful information. You would do well to read it all very carefully. Reading leads to knowing, you know? <laughs> Such a racket! Can't you keep quiet? You've knocked everything off my shelves, you dratted hooligan. Honestly, the hooligan I'm referring to is my younger and much less intelligent brother who lives just downstairs. He hates studying. All day, every day, the lout just exercises and practices with his weapons. Does he exercise his brain? No, the brain's a muscle too. 
I, I think. Anyway, the only thing he does study is the art of fighting. Right now, for instance, he's been studying fencing and whatnot. As if that's of any use to anyone. He simply doesn't know how to do anything besides exercise. I ask you, what's a brother to do? <laughs> it is very charming. I, I agree, Kai. I very much agree with you. Weapons, you say? <laughs> I like this dude. Sturgeon's One Point Lessons. Lesson 1. The Energy of Life. To be young is to know no limits to one's stamina. To become stronger, one must know oneself. The hearts in the upper left shows one's current life energy. Perhaps a fancier way to describe it would be to call it a life gauge. As one experiences trials and hardships in life, one will naturally gain more hearts. However, if one is injured and takes damage, those hearts will decrease. At such times, it may be possible to replenish one's health by cutting grass and finding hearts. Lesson 2. Do not underestimate the sea. It's easy to get swept up by a little success at swimming, but the sea can be fickle. Swimming for too long will drain one's energy and eventually one will sink. Watch the round icon in the bottom right while in the water. There is one's... Oh, this is one swim timer. One should be sure to get back to shore before one swim timer runs out. If one doesn't, I can't be responsible for what happens next. Fencing. Maybe he just likes building walls. Oh, Sparrow. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> NPC that works in a library in Minish Cap named Sturgeon, who looks very similar. Okay. The Great Map of Life. As one is often hasty and acts without thinking when young, it's easy to get lost on one's way. It is at confused times such as this that one must refer to his or her area map in the lower left. The yellow arrow shows one's current location. Enlarge the map with right or left, or hide the map with left. Okay. Uh, the up arrow in the top right portion of the area map indicates wind direction. Always remember that the wind blows in the direction of the arrow. Always. Material goods. The more things one tries to experience in life, the more experience-related belongings one tends to gather. And of course, with those belongings comes a need to keep track of them and keep them in good order. One needs only press start or pause to see the items he or she has obtained. The item screen contains items the player can set to use and use with Y, Z, or X. The quest status screen for its part contains vital items related to one's quest. It's possible to switch between these two screens by pressing L or R. Okay. Yeah, this is a uh, good uh, life lessons here. Lesson five, how not to regret the things one fails to do in life. A very important lesson. Actually, that that listen up, everybody, because this is I think this could apply to us all. How not to regret the things one fails to do in life. A very, very important lesson. There are many things one longs to do in the limited time one has in this world. The easiest way to not regret things one wanted but failed to do is save. While one may feel invincible and wish to continue one's quest, one never knows when disaster or calamity may strike. If one's life energy is extinguished before one has had a chance to save, then one's life will have been lived in vain. It is a shame to regret the deeds one has failed to accomplish in life. Just press start or pause and choose save on either the item screen or the quest status screen. I've reached this far in life and I didn't know how to do that. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Good knowledge from Sturgeon. Ooh, lesson six, improving human relations. To improve one's relations with one's fellow beings, one must be outgoing and press A to speak to all people one meets. 
When one opens one's heart to others, others will open their hearts in return and offer wisdom on many important things. If the person's advice is strange or cannot be understood, one should not feel shy. One should simply ask the person to repeat that statement by pressing A again. <laughs> More often than not, if one asks politely, a person will say the same thing over and over again until the meaning is clear. I absolutely love this. This is so charming. I quick saved and suddenly all the NPCs started to sweat. <laughs> Excellent, Sparrow. Excellent. Lesson seven. Knowing one's own abilities. This seems pretty important too. To improve one's life, it is wise to watch A and R calmly whenever one comes across a person or an object. By doing so, A and R will pass along wisdom regarding how one can best interact with that person or object. To know one's abilities is to know one's limits. Lesson 8. Changing perspective leads to success. The young often assume that they can see all that is before them, but oftentimes they are missing out on a grander view. By using C-Stick to change perspective, one can often find oneself gazing upon sights and discoveries one never expected to see. And once one has seen all there is to see around oneself and determined an appropriate course of action, it is wise then to press L and take action. To get things at eye level, one should stop in one's tracks, press L, and tilt C-Stick up. Man, amazing knowledge here. Amazing knowledge. <laughs> Kaipora Gabora has gotten many a victim that way. <laughs> Even ask you if you got it all. And oh, man. With the owl in Ocarina of Time? Oh. Awful. Many times. Lesson 8. Oh, we already read that one. Lesson 9. A fool and his rupees are soon parted. It is commonly known that he who makes poor use of rupees will have a hard life. In order to fully enjoy a long life, it is wise to gather rupees early and often. Well, we've already started uh, that on a good foot. Lesson 10. Become the champion of life, or becoming, rather. Learn all there is to learn in lessons 1 through 9. And no matter what happens... Do not give up, do not complain, and do not stay up all night playing. <laughs> well, just you watch. Lesson 10, okay? Just you watch. Skip, 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 repeat, cry, beg for it to stop. Skip, 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 cry, repeat, repeat. Yeah, <laughs> beg for forgiveness, continue. Terminal montages, Ocarina of Time video does a good. Oh, yeah. This is cool. You're a smart lad, Lonk. You'll find that everything I've written down and tacked to my walls will be very useful in life. A lifetime of knowledge, all for you. You just be sure to take the time to read it all through very carefully. And if you don't, you'll surely end up like that useless hooligan of a little brother of mine who lives downstairs. Well, let's go up. Ah, it's got a cool place, man. <laughs> Even got a bar there and everything. most notorious text box oh man when you're trying to uh get your pokemon to the clinic and you accidentally uh do it twice yeah okay so it's all about angle there that's why the ladder was doing weird stuff to me earlier <laughs> oh the owl yeah i didn't know the owl's name before yeah, time to hit stuff. Lonk, is that you? If I recall correctly, today, you are the same age as a legendary hero. When did you get so old? You must build strong muscles from now on. Strong muscles. <coughs> Excuse me. 
That voice might not be doable for me at the moment. You have come at the perfect moment. I was just trying my rolling attack. Allow me to teach it to you. Are you ready? Just run as fast as you can and press A. That is how you perform a rolling attack. If you think you understand, then try to roll into that wall. Go on, young one. <laughs> Such a racket. Can't you keep quiet? You've knocked everything off my shelves, you dratted hooligan. Ah, my brother upstairs is very high strung. His is the way of knowledge. He locks himself in his room and studies all day. He is quite wise. But that big head of his, he is hardly accommodating. On top of it all, he's very feeble. At times, I am ashamed to call him my brother. <laughs> but enough of that, Lonk. I sense a natural talent that beats in your veins. But you need more than talent to make it in the world today. You must also be bold. And to that end, I shall teach you the art of swordplay. What say you? Do you wish to practice your skills with a sword? Well, of course. <laughs> Very good. Your first lesson shall be the horizontal slice. Face me and press B. Do not fear for my safety. I am ready for you. Wrong. Press only B. Good. Keep coming at me until you hear me say, very good. Very good. Next is the vertical slice. Hold L to target me and then press B. L target and press B to perform vertical slice. Keep swinging. Very good. Next is thrust. L target. Up and B. Come at me. Thrust with your sword. Very good. Keep thrusting. Good. That's enough. Yeah, it is a bit. <laughs> it is as I foresaw. One day, you shall become a master of the sword. It is still too soon to give you a sword to carry around with you. I'm afraid I cannot give you one yet. If I did give you one, I'm certain your grandmother would be quite upset with me, and I do not need that. But if for any reason you feel you need more training, then come see me again. from that so don't need to smash anything unless Link's grandmother or like his grandpa's around then I'm guessing um, that he's dating Link's grandma <laughs> just gonna go out on a limb and say that he's probably dating Link's grandma Good morning. Welcome to the Island Postal Service. What do you have for delivery? Well, nothing. Uh, I think we ever see Link's parents in this game, or don't think, save for mention of Link's mother. Oh, okay. This app. All right, we didn't go up here. Maybe their kids are at home. A 
love how all these games have different takes on the, uh... Yep! Like, some of the same music, but it's just slightly different. I just love that a lot. Alright, nothing in here. That's fine. Eh, only if uh, Nintendo and, and Disney did a team up would that be true. Yep. All right, do you think we've kept Grandma waiting long enough? I think we have. I think we have. Okay. No Grandma here. Soup looks good, though. Hey, Grandma! She's so cute. I've been waiting for you, Lonk. Hi. Lonk. Try these on. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. You got the hero's clothes. They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young hero of spoken of in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemy. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about sword play. Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Does all this make sense to you, Lonk? <laughs> Isn't that nice, Lonk? The suit, they suit you perfectly. Perfect fit. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party, so I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Hey, <laughs> that's my beer. Your grandma is going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mmm. Hey, that is my beer, but you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Cafe Bun, thank you very, very much for the raid. You were also playing Wind Waker. Hopefully you had a wonderful, wonderful stream. My name is Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of the game, and I'm very, very excited for it. So is it, are you also on a first playthrough? Are you doing a challenge run, just a casual play? Uh, feel free to tell us as much or as little as you want about it. Also, let me give you a shout out here. Let me give you a shout out. And Raiders, I should introduce you to my puppy dogs as well. Um, one of them's being a little bit elusive at the moment. Uh, and it's not Lucy. Lucy's the Shih Tzu on the right. She's five. And uh, Roxy, the Jack Russell, is usually in frame. Um, and Roxy's 14. Oh, you got Nad? Oh, my goodness. Um, I, will, I will hold back on the greeting a little bit then. <laughs> Yeah, there's Roxy. There's Roxy. Yeah, Roxy's the Jack Russell on the left. She's 14. Lucy's the Shih Tzu on the right. Uh, she's five. And uh, they're just more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people really hang out for them. And they tolerate a lot of mediocre gameplay and terrible puns around here. <laughs> the Cafe Bun, thank you very, very much for the raid. I understand you just got done raiding. So um i totally understand if you need to raid and run uh to take care of any post-stream self-care needs i totally totally understand on that i'm not kicking you out by any means you can stay as long as you wish so you're doing just vanilla nostalgia run okay very cool 
<laughs> Incredibly rare to see Lucy and not Roxy. Yeah, it's usually always the other way around. <laughs> they are precious. You know what? Nobody redeemed one, but should we do a puppy treat for the Raiders? We can do that. AC, I can give you your points back on that. We, we, for Long's birthday, yeah. In honor of Long's birthday, let's do a puppy treat. In honor of uh, Cafe Bun's raid as well. And uh, feel free to let me know your preferred nickname or pronouns, Cafe Bun, or Cafe Bun, rather. I do want to make sure you feel welcome here. And same goes for all of your raiders that we're tagging along with. All right. Puppy treat time. Puppy treat time. And they're getting these uh, pumpkin spice. Uh, treats from Bocce's Bakery. They're very, very, uh, very good smelling, honestly. <laughs> All right. Are you ready for treat time, puppy? Yeah, they mind a little bit, <laughs> AC. <laughs> Just a little bit. AC, thank you for the puppy treat in honor of Long's birthday. Lucy, how about you say all the garbage, huh? Behave for the Raiders, okay? No, no being a garbage dog. I don't know why she does this, but she likes to go like find garbage or scraps of paper, like right after I give her a treat. <coughs> My goodness. <coughs> and apologies on the cough too. Just uh, coming back from being sick last week. So I'm trying to keep it at a minimum and I'm not always catching the mute button before I do. But uh, big cheers to everybody. Can we get some hearts in chat for Cafe Bun? Thank you very, very much for the raid. Do you prefer Cafe? Do you prefer Bun as a, as a nickname? I do like this music for the <laughs> dogs just hanging out. Roxy, did you thank AC? So all you have to do to do a raid AC is do a, a right slash like that. Let's see if that actually posts in chat. It doesn't. But you do a right slash and then raid right after that. And then you put the a space and then the username. <coughs> and that's how you uh, raid out. <coughs> My gosh, sorry about the cost there. Either or you're not picky? Okay. And it, yeah, it definitely was uh, COVID. Not fun. So I hope everybody is uh, staying healthy and staying away from that because it's no good. And also, I did not choose the best uh, the voice for Orca. There's a little little grating on the vocal cords there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I might have to change that one up a little bit. But AC, thank you very, very much for the puppy treat. And Bun, thank you very, very much for the raid. And hey, thanks for the new follow. It is much, much appreciated. They're anonymous around here, so feel free. If you're enjoying the lurk, feel free to lurk. If you want to hop in chat and say hello, you're always more than welcome. All right. And you also asked me a question earlier that I missed. Um... If I got the owl, I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Hate to run, but it's uh, my kid's bedtime. I must go parent. Hey, uh, good luck with the parenting there, uh, Giraffa Pontifex, and uh, hope to see you again soon. Can we get some hearts in chat uh, for Giraffa, please? And please correct me if I butchered your name. All right, 
Now we gotta get some soup from Grandma. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now go get your sister a real. Oh, excellent. That's good to, good to hear. I do wanna make sure people feel uh, welcome here. And part of that is just saying your name right. <laughs> Ah, oh, this game is just oozing with charm. It is so fun. Yep. And we haven't even got into like combat or anything like that yet. Okay. All right, <laughs> let's go find our sister. Red birthday instead of bedtime. Yep, I think the 3% is now 1%. I'm off to sleep. <laughs> Sparrow, have a wonderful sleep. Uh, it is always good to see you. Can we get some hearts in chat for our friend Sparrow? All right, so he told us how to do that already. We've already gathered all the pigs. I'm guessing a real is still at uh, real's lookout. And the poor snot kid is just uh, needs a Kleenex so bad. We got our signature look going too. I'm very happy about that. Um, so, yeah, this is, uh, emulated. <laughs> Since I don't have a GameCube and, uh, I also don't have a Wii U either. Ah, hoy, big brother. Did grandma make that outfit for you? But wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I guess they're pretty neat, though. So anyway, Long, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand just for a second? I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! You got the telescope. This is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. Pressing whatever button you set it to. Do it now and see what you can see. <laughs> It does look pretty crisp, I agree. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? Hee hee hee. Oh, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking over at our house from here. Okay, so... Nope, wrong button. All right, getting my buttons worked out here. Oh, cool. Look at that up there. Sensitivity on these sticks might need adjusted a bit. <laughs> hey, what's that, Lonk? Are you looking at the red post box? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm looking at that uh, big, sweet carving on the hill. Oh, look at the bird there. <laughs> Postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? Looks like a bird. Wonk! The sky! Look up in the sky! Who is that? Hmm. 
Ooh, that was close. Uh, that probably hurt a lot. We need to go find that person. Wonk, this is so terrible. That girl fell into the forest. She needs help. But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. Okay, so we need to maybe visit Orca again. And I usually uh, sip on a beer on stream. Um, I don't like to have too much when I stream, but uh, tonight we're sipping on the Wayward Cargo. It's a tiki sour from Drecker Brewing. And it has pineapple, banana, uh, cacao, and coffee. Very, very unique beer. It's not something I would probably drink all that often, but it's, uh, I figured since we're next to the sea, we might be sailing today, possibly. That, uh, yeah, we could have some wayward cargo. It's very good. If you like pineapple and banana, um, the coffee and the cocoa have a weird bitterness that pairs well with the uh, the sour and the sweet. It's very unique. Sword, welcome in. Good to see you. Good to see you. What, what's the matter, Lonk? Um, you have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Whatever it is, from the look on your face, I suspect it's no laughing matter. What do you say? What say you? Have you come for some serious instruction in the way of the sword? <laughs> yep. His voice is what does it to me. Thanks for the new follow. Very good. Your first lesson shall be okay. We we did this already. That's all right. We can do it again though. Um, uh, these battle sounds like that. Each uh, attack there is a lot of fun. <laughs> Um, it almost sounds like rhythm. Oh, you were too close to me, dude. I was trying. Next is harder. Try a parry attack. L target until you see A and then quickly press A. Okay. Oh, cool. Very good. And again. Nice. Very good. Now finally the jump attack. I love that. Yep. <laughs> Thank you for the confetti. Yet I sense certain anxiousness in the sword you hold. Eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded by the fields of battle. I do not know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow, I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Lonk. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. Nice. Use it wisely and carefully. You don't want to let down the kind old man who has entrusted it to you. Since the olden days, the sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with the desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Monk. fun. I like that a lot. I think uh, I think Orca might be my favorite character so far. Yeah. Now 
now we get to cut some grass. Maybe don't cut down all the flowers. Yeah, they'll grow back. They'll grow back, right? I bet they will. Down, down, down long. And if you're wondering on the name too, we did put it up to a vote in chat. So this is community named. This is a boring old Uncle Wooly would probably just put Link. <laughs> but I, I let chat decide tonight. Alright, there we go. There we go. Okay. Now we can defend ourselves. Let's uh, go check things out up here. Oh. That means we can get that thing back here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back and do that. Go get that gold rupee that's uh, yep. hanging out. And I did forget to talk to the guy after cutting all the grass, too, so I should probably do that. No, 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 no. Did not mean to talk to you. No vegetation is safe from Wonk in his blade. <laughs> okay. Now that the, all the destruction is over. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. Oh, I'm loving this music. <laughs> the music has always been fun in this series. My goodness, it's so good. Did you hear that noise, Lonk? Did something happen? What was it? Oh, say, that's a fine sword you have there, buddy. Just look at that thing. You know, you'd be doing me a big favor if you'd cut this here grass for me. Oh, what, what grass? <laughs> Sometimes you can find things in the grass when you cut it, so it's always a thankless chore. It pays, buddy. Or isn't always a thankless chore. <laughs> hey, I appreciate that. I appreciate the lurk. Thank you very, very much for the raid, too. Please, please, please uh, take care of those post-stream self-care needs. Thanks for sharing your community and your friends with us tonight. And uh, let me give you another shout out here. Uh, fun. Uh, can't do another Twitch one, but we can do one of these ones. <laughs> there we go. Thank you very, very much again. It is very nice to meet you. Guessing that's where we need to go, but yeah. 
I can always see what's up here. He is so slow when you're uh, winding up the old uh, spin attack. <laughs> He's just so angry, too. Oh my goodness. Look how intimidating this little guy is. <laughs> mm. Oh, he's mean. jump some little stabby stabs yeah make sure we mow all this down there we go getting a little bit out of hand before we enter here um I know there was just an ad that ran, but uh, I think uh, puppy dogs need a little bit of uh, OUT time, some, uh, some outside time. So uh, we're going to take a quick little break here, and we'll be back to see who landed in the woods. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. Hang tight. That is unholy. Uh. Hmm. Oh. This is quality entertainment. <laughs> what? Oh! Yes, that's what I was here. Oh! She got there, Justin. I had no time to warn Hobo. Poor Hobo, just immediately. This sounds like it's like on my outside. I had no time to to help him. I said no, don't. In my Please, head. don't stop. Somebody. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, too early. That's fine. That's fine. We're fine. Oh, yep. <laughs> the right sword makes a difference. garbage okay okay ah 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 they're huge they're hard um, please don't clip that out of context. Come on and vibe at Wooly's Beard and Beer House. Most wholesome stream on Twitch. Sponsored by Puppos. <sighs> that really did make me... Ooh, 
<laughs> yes. Yeah, I want to get him real close and then switch over to the hands of God. Um, Ravenbeak? No, no way. No, I didn't heal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What did I do? I played myself. some screen recordings from this game for quotes and I need the, the wow just wow. Is there anything <laughs> I can do? Yeah, I yeah, big uh woo woo senpai energy there, uh Barney. the landing Woo! oh get him get him no way no way <laughs> no way Wow, if this isn't the theme for Dark Souls 3, let me tell you what. Let me tell you what. That was the third try tonight. I came back and third tried Nameless King and I third tried Pontiff. Dark Souls 3 gets the third try return from Wooly. Oh my lord, yes. <laughs> hey, welcome back everybody. Thanks for uh, chilling out while I took a little bit of a break. Vis, good to see you. Good to see you. If anybody redeems Puppy Cam, Roxy's temporarily out of the room, but I believe we still got Lucy here, so just a, a heads up there. Grab some water myself, and we can continue some uh, Wind Waker. Not as much uh, currency dropped in the forest, it seems. Not much forest currency. <laughs> oh, we have our first enemy. So it's interesting, the uh, targeting, it doesn't lock on, it, uh, I mean it does, but it's not a toggle, uh, like some of the previous games. You have to hold it. Pull yourself up there, Link. Here we go. What's this say? Very fountain site. 
This spot marks the remains of an ancient fairy fountain. The legendary hero was said to come here after battle so the fairies could ease his weariness. It also said that whoever met with the great fairy who lived here was blessed with great fortune, so it came to be known as the fairy fountain of the fortune goddess. Huh? Cool. Doubt we can do anything about that now, though. Because we're just a wee little link. I don't think we can let that. Can't jump up there either. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna see if I can parry. Ooh, hearts. Thank you. She's awake. Ouch. Wow. What did that get up? Well, whatever. So, where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came and... Miss! Miss Tetra! Oh! Oh, thank goodness you're safe! When I saw you got dropped on the summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me on the top of a mountain? Well, wasn't that nice of it. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go! Time to repay our debt to that bird and fall. But miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on. Oh, Lonk. He's fast. Hi, Hi big brother. This game just oozes with charm. It is so adorable. No. Get a hold of yourself. She's gone. There's nothing you can do. This is not a good birthday for Lonk. <laughs> extreme highs, extreme lows. What? You want to come with us on our ship? Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know? Pirates. Terror of the seas. What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. I know you must fe how you must feel with your sister being kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us, now does it? Hey. How do you figure that? Uh, uh, uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Just who are you? Where do you get off butting in on someone else's conversation? Please. All I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away 
by that big bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment, and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the very many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the great sea? No matter whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, a young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. <laughs> and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Long here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is this true? Oh. And while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Long's sister has made its foul nest to the north on the heights of the Forsaken Forest. Fortress, rather. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Lonk a little help now, would it? Hmm. I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this forsaken fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on. Even a simple little island like this has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with. Anything. Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while, so you'd better say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. She can't be serious. What is she thinking? Bringing a shrimp like you on board. Talk about a joke. Boy, Miss Tetra's impulsive nature sure has a way of landing us in hot water. Shrimp, if you're going to go sailing on a pirate ship, you better be prepared to become a pirate, yeah? Because if you get scared and start begging and crying at us to let you off the ship somewhere, then you're guaranteed to end up as shark bait. Hey, uh, shrimplet. Are you going to be our new pirate, Suave? Because any new Suave reports to me. Yes, this means I have to wash the other pirate's dirty underpants, or I don't have to wash the other pirate's dirty underpants anymore. Gross. They all seem very capable of washing their own dirty underpants. Lonk, I thought I heard Aril's voice cry from far away. What kind of weird boat is that? Uh, I did get my tunic and I got a sword, Hagel. Look how mean and fierce Lonk looks. <laughs> oh, he's me. He's making sure everybody knows it. He's making sure she knows it. Do you know it? She knows it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got it's just dripping with character. It is so good. What is it, Lonk? Please tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's Aril? Is she still playing outside with the gulls? What's the matter? Is there something wrong? Is it something you can't even tell your grandma? Oh, it's sad, man. Oh, the shield is gone. Grandma's gonna give it to you for your birthday, I bet. Lonk. Is 
this what you're looking for? Oh, so sad. Take it with you. You got the hero's shield. This is a legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. Hold R to defend yourself, and you can also hold R to defend while L targeting. I guess it is true. Avril really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take such a sweet young child? Let's go rescue our sister. Let's do it. Oh man. Okay, this cartoon link reminds me so much of my nephew. <laughs> I'm going to make them dress him up as cartoon link for Halloween this year. He just looks so much like him. It's insane. <laughs> Oh, there's a, a rupee up on the, on the top of the house there. Let's go get that before we leave. Oh, and yes, I am very much a rolling link player. <laughs> yeah, we could uh, we could make those for him out of like the foam, like the EVA foam. Should be doable. Okay, I don't think I can actually make it up there. Never mind. Is it EVA or PVA? Friend? Whatever it is. Yeah, that'd be fun. Oh, this game is so charming. Listen, shrimp, whatever young myth says goes. So do what you have to do and be quick about it, yeah? Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you going to get splinters and cry? Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? She's kind of a jerk. Tetra's kind of a jerk. Our mateys. Let's set sail. Good luck, Lonk. Good luck finding a real. Take care of yourself. While I'm gone, can somebody get that poor kid a tissue? Oh, Grandma. <laughs> Bye, Grandma. Uh, how much longer is this going to go on, do you think? Do you have an estimate? <laughs> Are you shouldn't, sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Uh, seriously, think about it. 
I can tell you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure you shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? Yeah, Tetra is a jerk. <laughs> How many rupees you want to bet there's that no one's gotten that kid any medicine or anything? Oh yeah. Uh, I'm, that's a fool's bet. <laughs> Lonk, listen, kid. You can't just stand around on deck. You'll get in everyone's way. I've told Nico to look after you, so you'd better report below decks and ask him what you should be doing. Yep. Yep. Hmm. And that Nico didn't make out half bad, with you being the new Swabby and all. New swabbies always get stuck doing the hardest work. It's a real raw deal, but hey, I'll tell you, it sure sounds like Nico is happy to finally not be the bottom rung on the pirate ladder. You bet he is. Hey, but don't sweat it. I'm sure you'll do just fine, so long as you don't disobey him. So... Your name's Lonk, right? <laughs> That's one weird getup you got on there. So what's the deal? Is that popular back on your island or what? Now that I think about it though, I think I've seen an outfit like that before somewhere. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Um, stop right there. This is Miss Tetra's cabin. Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in there. There's no way we're letting an outsider in. Don't you even think it? Okay, dude. Oh, well now, ahoy, Swabby. As of today, I... Um, I am your super su superior supervisor, Superior Nico. Now I promise I'll go easy on you. So you do as I say, okay? Right now, first off, you have to take the test all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful like, so you can cram it into your no doubt mushy swabby brain. <laughs> Super superior supervisor, sir. <laughs> First off, you gotta press this switch. This is the only easy part. Just walk up to it and tilt up to step on it. Presto, switch pressed. Now, check it out. After the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on it. Okay, so I was able to jump to this first one myself, but that next one's too far, right? That's why you got to do this. You jump right at the rope, you can grab onto it and use up down to swing. Swing until you can get close enough to the next platform. Press A to let go and jump to it. Okay, so do you think you get how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get to the entrance of that room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms only stay raised for a little while. So if you don't get there by the time they drop, you have to start over. Okay. Doable. Will probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way over here. One rough year, one tough year full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now give it a try. This ought to be a good for a chuckle or two. Okay, you said they go down, so do I need to do this one? Yeah, let's do this one here. 
see if we can do this first try. Oh, <laughs> totally messed it up. Hey, what are you doing? You have to jump and make it over here. Falling isn't part of the program, Swabby. Well, there's one thing I forgot to tell you. When you're hanging on to a rope, you can hold R and then start left and right change direction. <laughs> Up and down to climb down. Okay. We'll do better next time, right? Thanks for the unnecessary fan. <laughs> I appreciate that. Alright. Oh, too far. Shoot. Got to have a little fun with it, of course. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. We'll get it this time. Platforming is just a bit rough, but that's okay. Yep. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Man, I was, uh... Had some high hopes. Yep! 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 No. <laughs> what? You did it already. I, 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 I'm proud to have you as my, as my underling. I, I wonder if it's okay to just give that to him. I don't see why not. I, I doubt it'll get busted. Uh, all right, Swabby, I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. Oh, the chest opening sound. Got the spoils bag. You can keep the items you get from enemies in this handy pouch. You can hold up to eight types of items. Press Y, Z, or X on the items uh, screen to see what's inside. Again, the set has one of its contents. Sweet. Hey, Lonk, we've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry up and get up here. Well, that was quick. I'm gonna bust all their barrels. Stinking pirates, getting my sister lost, making me say goodbye to grandma. Now I gotta go fight at some stupid forsaken fortress. Okay, I've worked out all my anger. <laughs> God, but there's still so much stuff I have to teach you. This is so lame. Ah, well, um, I guess I can wait until you finish whatever it is you have to do. Yep. Let's make sure he can't get it. Oh, yeah, more more anger to unleash on these barrels. There we go. There we go. Lonk, here I am, up here. That place does look forsaken. <laughs> what, 
were you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. Take a look. <laughs> there are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago, it used to be the hideout of a no-good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Ah, I knew it. Look. Over there, by that window. Have you ever seen so many gulls flock like that before? I'll bet you anything that's a place where they've got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere n near landing there. Hmm. What do we do now? She's devious. <laughs> oh, they're going to catapult him over there, too? Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Everybody ready? Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you good. <laughs> Three. Two. One. <laughs> oh, this game. Tons of charm. And he's just going to drown. We're used in a remix called Link's Barrel Beat. I'm going to have to check that out. <laughs> Are there any spoilers for the rest of the game, AC? Because that's amazing. Your sword landed all the way up there? Shoot, I'm sorry. I apologize. I guess my aim was off by a little bit. The look on your face... <laughs> Priceless. Hey, I slipped a stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone, either. I can see what you're doing through the stone, and obviously you can hear me through it. So if you press A, you'd uh, better press that button. If you see it, you better press it. Put the stone on your quest status screen. Press start, use L or R to scroll around. It's pretty basic. Listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister, so don't go losing it. You understand? That's cool. So Tetra is kind of serving as Navi. Oh, cool. can't see these uh, walking barrels. <laughs> Colonel, trying to sneak in a forsaken fortress, but there's guards everywhere. Lonk? Lonk! Yeah, 
it does have some uh, some Metal Gear Solid vibes to it. With the uh, the box. Oh, I'm going to need to climb up on that as well. Come on, Wonk. Climb onto the stinking barrel. I can't. Okay. So that idea is out. Oh, I got to go up that way. Okay. Back to barrel time. Unless I can go through this door. Oh. Never mind then. Maybe I shouldn't be going in here without a weapon. There's a map. Hey! Hey! That's my beer! <laughs> that is my beer, but you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here, Wobble. Thank you very, very much for the raid. How was the rest of your birthday? Hopefully you had a wonderful, wonderful uh, rest of your time there on, what was it, Sunday? Hopefully you had a great rest of your uh, Labor Day weekend. And how was uh, Dead by Daylight tonight? <sighs> cheers, cheers, raiders. My name is Uncle Wooly. And this here is my first playthrough of Wind Waker. Dude, that's a whole Twitch baby. Wobble. Do you got a name for that thing? Let me give you a shout out first of all. <laughs> Welcome in, Raiders. I would give you Puppy Cam, but they've escaped the room. So if they do make their way back, we can give you some Puppy Cam. But uh, unfortunately, no puppies in the room at the moment. Actually, I only played a couple rounds of DVD. So what were you playing then? What did you get down with tonight on stream, if I might ask? Raiders, my name is Uncle Wooly. Uh, this is my first playthrough of Wind Waker, and the dogs that aren't pictured here are uh, Lucy and Roxy. They're uh, Roxy's the 14-year-old Jack Russell in the emote there, and Lucy's the five-year-old Shih Tzu. Both of them infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be, so people usually hang out for them, and they tolerate a lot of mediocre gameplay and terrible puns. Oh, start first play through of RE7. What are you thinking so far? And how far did you get? Coincidentally, Wobble, that is the first game that I streamed on Twitch. <laughs> was RE7. I, I do have a fond uh, fond memories of that game. It's a really good one. Um, but boy, is the opening sections of that game just filled with anxiety. Absolutely packed to the brim of anxiety. Far enough to learn that they're called the molded. Okay. So you got past the dinner sequence, I take it? Or is that, uh, have you been that far? Anxiety and jump scares. Yeah. The, the Mia parts in the beginning and also the, uh, Papa Jack. Big time anxiety, uh, deliverer. Um, delivers in spades. Uh, really, really good game. I hope you uh, stick through it and enjoy it because uh, it's good. It's really good. Tonight we're sipping on the Wayward Cargo by Drecker Brewing. And Wobble, this one has pineapple, banana, cocoa, and coffee. And the combination in the Tiki Sour is just strange. But also really good. Okay, so you're going to play some more on Monday. Do you plan on doing Village after that? Yeah, it's weird. It's a really weird beer. It's uh, very unique, <laughs> to say the least. It's not something I could sit down and have a ton of them, but just like one in a sitting is pretty nice. And I'd say it's good for, like, it's a good sharing beer. Oh, where's the rat going? No, we need weapons. We need weapons for that. Yeah, if you're going to do seven, I think you should do village. Village is uh, very much a must if, uh, if you're playing seven, I think. 
Can I just like read the map? Oh, this game is so good so far too. Have you played this one, Wobble? <laughs> Link's eyes, he's got so much character. Look at this guy. Meh. Yeah. I'm gonna sneak right into this place. <laughs> I've never played it either. This is my uh, very first playthrough. It is very good so far. Oh no, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. <laughs> it's got a ton of charm though. A ton of charm in this game. Legend of Zelda's Ocarina of Time. And then I didn't play another one until Breath of the Wild. Okay. Um, nene, nene, nene. <laughs> I would highly recommend um, Majora's Mask if you have the opportunity. Um, wobble. Uh, otherwise, uh, Link to the Past is very good. One of the best uh, 2D Zeldas. But I'm very, very biased. You played Link Between Worlds on the DS and Spirit Tracks. Okay. Yeah, those are two that I haven't played. A little upset. We dropped our car off at the collision shop, and I just had a drive by in the rental to lock my car up. Oh, that's... I don't blame you for being angry there. Sword, I don't blame you at all. Um, that's really annoying. I had a tire shop that I got tires at a long time ago. This would have been circa like 12 years ago, 12-ish years ago. And um, I got my tires rotated there. And it's in like a fairly busy spot of the city. They just left my car unlocked with the windows down with like my glove box open. Like, hey guys, do you mind like securing my vehicle or are you just planning on letting anybody just take anything out of it? They go, oh, sorry, we didn't realize. <laughs> well, I, what you don't realize is I'm never taking my vehicle here again. <laughs> so I, I feel you there. I feel you there. And Wobble, I, you just got done streaming, dude. So if you need a raid run, I totally, totally understand. Please take care of those uh, post stream self care needs. Yeah, you, you better give him a talking to, so. <laughs> uh, we got the dungeon map. Green areas are areas you visited. Flashing area is your current location. Okay. So we've actually visited a lot of this dungeon so far. But what we need is our stinking sword. That's good. That's good that you have uh, something that tells you all about it. So you were thinking, okay, why is my car unlocked? <laughs> Just sitting out there. big fan of these games and the art style and the the just the character is just very good yep. this game has a ton of character and you still get a smash pots so it's definitely a zelda game if you're not smashing pottery it's not a true zelda game Sword drop up here somewhere. Oh, there's Tetra. Listen up, Lonk. There's a monster running the searchlight up there. If you can slay the monster, then just maybe it'll shut the searchlight down. Oh, but you're unarmed, aren't you? All you have is a shield. If I were you, I'd try to use my shield to deflect the monster's blows and see if I uh, could make it drop its weapon. Ooh, okay. That's just me. What'll you do? Let's do that. Let us do that. Huh? Oh. 
get the weapon. Yeah. Oh, come on. Where'd it go? Stinking camera. Ah, nice. Light down. <laughs> Search light down. Yep. I could have done that too. All right. So can we drop? Yeah. Yep. Let's go take care of this one. Climb with the weapon, though? Probably not. Nope. Come on. Come on, Wonk. <laughs> you stinking little Wonk. Climb up that ladder, dude. Yeah, he just yeeted it into the sky. <laughs> Drop it. Thank you. Sure, how to get to that next one? Ah. Hmm. Yeah, that thing was yeeted to the heavens. <laughs> stuff is oh right it is the best sound effect ever in gaming it is one of the best 
There's a lot of iconic Final Fantasy sounds, but man, that chest opening sound from Zelda games is so good. Uh, nope, that's not what I want. Let's uh, map. Can you map, please, Link? Blonk? Link Blonk? Link Blonk? Just a little da 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 da. It, it's a lot of fun. I know where I'm supposed to go. I just don't know how to get there, okay? Come on. Yeah, like, do almost like what uh, they're kind of doing with, like, Super Mario Wonder is go back to just, like, some traditional gameplay style for, like, one game. And that would be pretty cool. I agree with you, Hegel. I could be down for that. Same time, the open world is fun, but doesn't really... Yeah, especially Breath of the Wild. It, uh, it definitely had some lacking in the... Uh, the dungeons. And I haven't played Tears of the Kingdom yet, so I don't really know on that one, but... Uh, Come on, that was the worst jump you could have done there, Link. Link Lonk. Link Lonk and the Stink Stonk. Oh, but we got... We got ladders. Uh-oh. Oh boy. That's scary. Puzzles and combat within the dungeons is what draws me to Zelda games and side quests feel... Yeah. I agree with you there. Big time. So, I think I've already been this way before. out without getting zapped. Oh, the wallet cap is, yeah. It is weird. A little high for early game. Hearts, very nice. Yep, definitely capped at 200. Walk on this. Ooh, I can. Nice. Yep. Good job, Grandma. Can we get some GGs for Grandma? Seriously. GGs for Grandma. Taika! 
It is good to see you. I'm sorry that we don't have the puppies in the room at the moment. <laughs> They're currently downstairs. I will definitely uh, refund your uh, your channel points. They're a little bit absent at the moment. It is good to see you. It's been a while. Hopefully uh, you've been keeping well. Right? Oh, I'm running out of stamina. I almost drowned. You show up to a stream. It's super late where you're at. And all you need is a little bit of puppy serotonin. And it's nowhere to be found. Unacceptable. <laughs> Unacceptable. Haven't been at my best by getting there. Okay. Well, I hope uh, that you're uh, back to your normal self soon. Or back to 100% soon. Super early, 5.26 a.m. My lord, that's early. That is super early. Yeah, let me see if we can, uh, if we can get these puppies here for you. Bear with me one second. Well, if you're still here, Taika, if you're still here. I found them. <laughs> I found them. Found those little baby girls. <laughs> and they did a bed swap, too. Yep. Good puppy dogs. Hopefully, if you're getting to work early, hopefully it's a very nice and productive day for you, Taika. Hopefully you have a wonderful Thursday since it's uh, already Friday Junior where you're at. And uh, please, please take care. I'm not kicking you out by any means, but uh, in case, uh, you know, you suddenly leave. I just want to make sure to uh, wish you a wonderful Thursday. Lucy, are you going to say hi? Ever elusive Lucy. Um, well, I had uh, another bout with the virus last week, so uh, Lucy, can you not moon people? Can you not violate TOS? <laughs> I had a bout with the virus last week, so I'm still on the mend myself, but uh, doing much better and uh, getting closer to 100%. Not quite there, but doing doing a lot better. I, I appreciate you asking. Can you, uh, can you stop mooning the camera so we can show people this again? Okay, I think she's not mooning. She's just trying to make that bed comfortable, but when she does, she <laughs> looks opposite the camera. And each, uh, each paw at the bed, each time she does that, adds uh, 10 comfort points to it. <laughs> Is it comfy now? Did you make it comfy? Is it worth a sit? <laughs> nope. Moon in the camera again. All right. <laughs> Lucy, you exhibitionist, you. What is up with that? What is up with that, doggo? <laughs> There we go. Now she laid down. Oh, did you get it nice and comfy? Did you do it? Maximum comfort. 
they're gonna be um they're gonna be switching up their background soon because it's almost spooky season it's almost time for that what do you need hegel hegel what do you need i'm, I'm scared to ask <laughs> mm, beer beer yeah i can get you that hegel if i'm not mistaken this is your third one and you haven't picked out even one Uh, I got a tally. I got a tally now. Just let let me know if you ever decide on at least one. And I know I need to think of one for your channel too. So we're kind of in the same boat. But <laughs> uh, mmm, beer. Well, if you ever need to change it, it's half the amount of channel points to change an existing one. So. Less of an investment, if you will. <laughs> but thank you, dude. There we go. There's some more puppy cam. And in the background, I just saved the game. I didn't do anything else. So uh, let's see where we can get to. Taika, have you played these games? Are you a fan of the Zelda series? Oh no, jumped at the wrong time again. <laughs> Oh, those things are cute. Oh, no. Okay, they're not so cute. They're not so cute. <laughs> watch a ton of them because so many of my favorite streamers seem to like them. They're great games. If you ever get the opportunity, I would I would highly recommend them. There we go. Let's get out of this room. Let's get out of this room. I think I went this way before. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. And this is where I messed up. There we go. There we go. So I'm not sure if I'll ever get a chance. Hey, that's fair. Um, I would say, though, if you can find one on sale... Especially if somebody's selling like an original Switch that's the non OLED. Um, it might be worth picking up. Uh, Mario Kart with family is a lot of fun. That's one big reason why I have mine. Uh, Breath of the Wild is great, and then the uh, online stuff is really good too. The, the non OLED is just the earlier versions. I suppose if you have the money, um, the OLED is is a great one. I don't. I have a non OLED that I bought. I think in 2018. Hmm. Yeah, we can do a hydration check. AC. It goes for all of you at home too. Um, yeah. So they're just older. So people might be selling the non OLED ones for cheap, trying to buy an OLED one. So that would be the, the main reason. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal there, Hegel. The battery was shot. Yeah, I don't use mine handheld a whole lot, so can't speak to how long the battery life lasts, but work pretty well when because i i don't use it i guess like on a plane or something i don't fly too often but uh when my dad was at the uh, hospital in may when he had his heart surgery i did play a lot of switch i did play a lot uh, i did some theater rhythm final bar line the final fantasy rhythm game and i'm trying to think of what else i did but it's it's fun online marketplace every now and then but lately main focus has been on furniture hey 
making sure your space is comfy is just as important as games. The new pastel ones. I've been thinking about getting the Hall Effect um, replacement um, uh, analog sticks for ours to uh, kind of put some life back in them because we have some that are having some drift. And I have two that I did the shell swap on. I don't have it up here, so I can't show you at the moment, but uh, uh, I did the uh, see-through green, and I also did that on the back of the console, too. Some retro vibes. It's a pain to take those things apart. <laughs> you, It's a lot of tiny parts. <laughs> Mobile gamer by accident, uh, because I often have nothing else. Hey, that's fair. Um, if you like the Final Fantasy games, they do have versions of those. The Pixel Remasters are available, like, on iOS and Android, so those are kind of traditional console games that are very, very good on mobile. Oh, no. <laughs> I've been caught. Shoot. Does that count as a death? I mean, I technically didn't die, so I'm not going to count that as a death. Hey, that's all right. I, I get what you mean. <laughs> I get what you mean. Uh, all right. Can you crawl through here? Maybe that's the way we're supposed to go. This doesn't feel like Metal Gear Solid at all. Metal Gear Long. Okay. I know where I'm at now. Don't like Final Fantasy. Not my type of game. I watch those a lot. But once again, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. I was just trying to think of mobile games that might be, uh, might be fun. Uh, let's see here. I think I want to go that way. I want to go back this way. Uh, you're going to have to help me with the acronym, people. I'm not good with acronyms. <laughs> Pastor and Light? I've never heard of that. I do Wordle every morning. Puzzle games that uh, don't bombard me with ads every other puzzle, that's fair. Play a lot of TFT. Um, yeah, tell me what TFT is, too. <laughs> yep, Wordle's a great thing to do when you first wake up. It gets the old mind going. I agree. Hey, hey! That's my beer! That's my beer. But you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Thanks for the parrot raid from uh, from Roy's Parrot Club. Welcome on in. It's a dangerous, chaotic hobo raid. There's sand in places you'll never expect, and the flock is on the way. Can you be saved from the chaos? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, that's, a... <laughs> that's my beer. Guys, that's my beer. But it's okay. It's okay. You, you can have a pint and chill out here, I promise. Let me get shout outs for everybody. <laughs> Seriously. My goodness, we have uh, Stigma Sabotage. Welcome in. Also, Roy's Parrot Club. Let me give you a shout out. Um, Hobo, let me give you a shout out as well as soon as I'm able to. Madness, welcome in. Yeah, you got here early. AJ, welcome in. C -c -c Combo Breaker. <laughs> Hobo, thank you for 26 whopping months, my friend. My lord. I'm going to have to give you a good old regular shout out, a, a diet shout out, if you will. And then I'll get you a, a real one. 
is uh, as soon as uh, you come back. <laughs> uh, who am I missing here? Jasidra, welcome hey, in. That's hey, that's my beer. <laughs> Sandy Coco, that's my beer, but you're more than welcome to grab some too. Uh, some Sandy shenanigans raid. Clearly, uh, NT, welcome in. My goodness, so many people. There's so many people. <laughs> You you want a diet a diet shout out hobo? Okay, well let's give uh, Sandy a regular shout out then, since hobo's fine at the diet shout out, and then we'll give him uh, a one here too. Uh, thank you for the new follow, by the way. Um, hold on, we're gonna have to do a good old fashioned one for for Sandy as well. Seriously, all these fine people, go follow them. Wonderful streamers, Roy's Parrot Club, uh, Sandy Coco, and Hobo Baggins. Thank you for the c-c-c-combo raid. <laughs> Taika, enjoy your breakfast. Enjoy your lurk. Um, Raiders, so my name's Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of Wind Waker. But I need to introduce, introduce you to my puppy dogs. Hey, that's <laughs> my beer. <laughs> oh, we're not done with raids yet, apparently. Uh, chaotic Seekers, welcome in. Madness, it's a dangerously chaotic hobo raid. There's sand in places you'd never expect, and the flock is on the way. Excellent. I love that. I love that. <laughs> chaotic Seekers, welcome in. Uh, so now that all the raiders are here, uh, my name's Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of Wind Waker. And hobo, thanks for the gifted sub to Roy's Pair Club. Uh, big cheers to all of you. And these are my puppy dogs. The one on the left is Roxy. She's a 14-year-old Jack Russell who looks very pleased that Lucy, the five-year-old Shih Tzu, is taking up the entirety of the dog bed. She's got her own bed right to the side. Thank you for the new follow. Thank you, thank you. Um, but what is she doing? Nope. Can't be bothered. Oh my goodness, uh, Chaotic Seekers, let me give you uh, a shout out as well. Welcome on in everybody, my my lord. <laughs> they got real chaotic and uh, well, there's sand everywhere in places you would not expect. <laughs> but everybody's here now, welcome on in everybody. Uh, tonight we're sipping on some Wayward Cargo from uh, Drecker Brewing. And it is pineapple, banana, cocoa and coffee tiki sour. And it is phenomenal, but it's definitely a beer that's a sipper. <laughs> Can we get some hearts in chat for all of our raiders? And also for Sandy Coco for the six month resub, Hobo Baggins for the gifted sub, and also Hobo Baggins for 26 months. My lord, you all are just absolutely insanely beautiful. <laughs> yeah, they're just like human siblings. But it's my bad. Get your own. No, I was here first. <laughs> I don't know why, but siblings always sound like that. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna tell dad. <laughs> oh, puppies. <coughs> All right. Since we're having to space out these uh, official quick shout outs in order. Uh, Hobo, there's yours, and Sandy and Chaotic Seekers, I will get yours to you shortly. Uh, Raiders, if you have preferred nicknames, preferred pronouns, feel free to share those. And know what game this is and where you are? Uh, that's not bad at all, Chaotic. It's okay for macho men to show every emotion <laughs> available right there, you know, because I've cried a thousand times, I'm going to cry I'm some more. I'm cry some more. Sandy, but enjoy your game. I've soared with the eagles and I've seen the best match up everywhere in between. Excuse me? I'm going to tell you something right now. One guarantee in life. Yeah. 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 And uh, I understand this. Yeah. Nobody likes to be so quick. Nobody said life was easy. So easy. So you get, get knocked down, down get back up, get, 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 get back up, and fight again. again. Macho, Macho, Macho Mania. Dig it. Dig it. <laughs> My goodness, thanks for the biddies. Uh, Roy's Pair Club, also Hagel, and Sandy Coco, thank you for the biddies. Thank you for the hype train, everybody. You all are insane. You need to knock it off. It is too chaotic. 
But what I was going to say, Raiders, to all the Raiders, if you have preferred pronouns, uh, preferred nicknames, feel free to share those in chat. I do want to make sure you feel welcome here. Any of the streamers that just got here, please, please, please take care of those post-stream self-care needs. Uh, don't ignore your hydration, your food, any of that. Take a break if you need to. Please uh, take care of yourselves, okay? Honestly. Uh, I'm not kicking you out. Just take care of yourself, okay? Hegel, thank you for the gifted subs. Oh my lord, they went to this pizza, pizza. Uh, I got beans. I got beans. I got we beans. Do got beans. You me. We do got beans. We do got beans. Nish guy, Wiccan soup, and Grumpy uh, Callum. If any of you are hanging about in chat, make sure you thank Hegel for the gifted subs, with emotes, and the uh, ad free for a duration of 30 days. And yeah, we can do a fiery bean. Can do a fiery bean. Stigma sabotage. Welcome. In. My beans. <laughs> and a regular bean too. You guys are bonkers. Thank you for all the biddies. That's sriracha. I tell you what we'll do. They're taking the homeboys to laser tag. They are taking the homeboys to laser tag. Um. We're gonna do something a little different. Reward all these points for the uh, beans, but also all these raids. We're gonna do four of each. A jalapeno, okay. So we're gonna do four spins on the hot ones and four spins on the regular beans in honor of this hype train. Another jalapeno. Sriracha, jalapeno, jalapeno, and jalapeno. No, that's sriracha again. But the thing with the sriracha is they, I can't tell the difference on some of these because the color is kind of faded, so I can't tell if it's reaper or sriracha. But, uh, yeah. We got to honor the hype trains and the beans. Some beans. Um, tutti Fruity or Stinky Socks. Toasted marshmallow or stink bug. Rotten egg or buttered popcorn. And our fourth one is going to be cappuccino or liver and onions. Wonderful. Wonderful. So eight beans for this wonderful hype train. Wonderful grade. Oh, beautiful, generous, lovely humans. I'll suffer for you. Look at all those banes. Hold on. Look at all them banes. Look at those banes. That's a lot of banes. Okay. <laughs> a lot of emotes splashing around too. My lord. All right. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for the raids, the hype train, the beans. Throw all the hearts in chat for yourselves. You're beautiful. Uh, liver and onion, stink bug, tutti frutti. It might be butter popcorn. And one of those was not sriracha. One of those was definitely a reaper bean. Ugh. Ooh, that's gnarly. You all have treated me so well, and I got treats. So, what do you say we give the puppies a treat? Yeah, we can do that. Uh, 
Wow. Yep. It's out of stock. Uh, I'll redeem it. Um, thank you for the hype train. Where did we get to? Was that level two? Level three? I don't know where it was at. It was awesome. 42% <laughs> of a level three. You all are just too heckin' cool. Thank you very, very much for the hype train. That's insane. Uh, before we dish out the treat, Sandy, thank you for the biddies. Hegel, thank you for the gifted subs. Total of five. Uh, Hobo, thank you for the biddies. Sandy with more biddies. Hegel with biddies. Roy's Pair Club with biddies. Sandy with resub. Gifted sub from Hobo Baggins. And of course, the uh, 26 months from Hobo. You all are just beautiful. All right. I suppose I, it's a little silent now, huh? Should we give you some music to listen to? <laughs> All right. Doggos. And seriously, huge thank you to um, Roy's Pair Club, Hobo Baggins, Sandy Coco, and Chaotic Seekers for the raids. Uh, you were playing some scary games, no doubt, right? Lucy, did you find garbage again? No, you didn't. Okay. Okay. Chaotic Seekers, thank you for the lurk. Um, thank you all for the raids you were playing. Oh, the Left 4 Dead 2. Um, you were doing some heavily modded stuff, right? Uh, feel free to tell me as much or as little about it as you want to. It sounds like a lot of fun. Left 4 Dead is a great game. And Sandy, thanks for bringing the meow him. I know you're uh, doing the lurky lurk. Uh, enjoy your post stream self care. Okay. Welcome on in, everybody. Link, I know you're getting tired, but uh, we got some game left, okay? We still got some game left in us. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can do that. There we go. Give it the old yip yip. Give it the old yip yip. My goodness. That got chaotic in a hurry. That got out of hand fast. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now what we need to do now is not get caught. Oh. Hey. hey, I've got it long. In order to reach the top of the tower where your sister is being held, you'll have to find the room right below the tower. The path to the tower begins in the rear of that room. You got that? Yep, I got it. Wait, did we turn around or something? Feels like we turn around. Yeah, we did. I'm burning beans in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Those beans are stuck. There we go. That's where we need to be. We just 
need to not get caught this time. I have my sword, I could just battle my way through here. Oh, this game is so good. Any of our raiders that came in, have you played uh, Wind Waker other than Chaotic Seekers who knew exactly where we were at? <laughs> exactly the challenges we were facing. been so long since you last played it. It's a good game so far. I'm surprised it's taken me this long to play it, AJ. And anybody that's just joining, um, what is your first Zelda game that you played? Which one's your favorite? And uh, are they one and the same? And if you need to make the distinction, um, Is your, uh, do you have a favorite 2D Zelda and a favorite 3D Zelda? I unfortunately don't have original hardware to play this on, so I am not playing it on GameCube, even though I do own a copy of it. Oracle of Ages was your first, and Minish Cap is your favorite for the 2D, 3D split, Minish Cap, and Phantom Hourglass for 3D. Very nice. Come on, just go back there. Boy, he takes a sweet time. So my first was uh, Link to the Past, and then uh, Ocarina of Time, and then Majora's Mask. And then after that, I don't think I played until Breath of the Wild, to be honest. First was OG Zelda, okay. I have played OG Zelda, but uh, that was fairly recent. It was after I got the Switch. Yeah, I'm going to have to check out that linked uh, story there, AC, because that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, Sage's Seasons was your first, if you remember correctly. Favorite 2D is probably uh, just The Legend of Zelda. Favorite 3Ds are Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, and then Ocarina of Time. Okay. Yeah, I haven't played... Um, uh, Twilight Princess or Skyward Sword either. Dang. Yeah. Let's get it, Link. You've got back the hero sword you dropped. Now you're in business. Take care not to drop it again. There we go. Skyward Sword is a bad game. That's why I'm looking forward to playing it on the uh, the remaster that came out on the Switch. 
I think lore wise, I'm familiar enough about the lore on it um, that it's cool that, you know, they give you kind of the intro to the series, but. Hey, sis. We found you. <laughs> this game has so much character. Oh, a boss battle? Pilgore. Thank you for the gifted sub. And that went to uh that went to Tekka. Tekka just joined us on, on Monday night. Um during Elden Ring. Thank you for the gifted sub. That means a whole lot. The <laughs> <laughs> yeet. That is a big yeet. What is this? Pilgore, how are you doing, by the way? Hopefully you're doing well. Hey. It's good to see you. Blanc. Blanc. Wake up, Blanc. Polyphia Lager I had last night was awesome, dude. I bet. Um, so tonight, AJ, we're sipping on this uh, Wayward Cargo. It's a tiki smoothie sour. It has pineapple, banana, uh, cacao nibs and uh, coffee and it is just delightful but weird like the bitterness of the coffee and the cacao nibs are uh, playing really well with the sweetness and sour from the pineapple and the banana <laughs> it is a local brew to me yeah fairly local uh, they don't do a whole lot of distribution, more in the upper Midwest of the United States. Switching between some Baldur's Gate 3 and Starfield, dude, great fall for games. And more great games to come up this month, Liza P, Mortal Kombat 1, um, Alan Wake 2 next month, just insane. Long, long, wake up, long. Pull yourself together, long. Cyberpunk DLC. I still need to finish that game. I didn't get too far. Um, well, have you come to your senses yet? <laughs> you are surprisingly dull witted. <laughs> Yeah, you startled me too, dude. I suppose that is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Bonk. I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. And such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is Ganon. He who obtained the power of the gods attempted to cover the land in darkness and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, 
But now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Lonk, do you still wish to save your sister from him? Yeah. And will you do anything to save her? Also, yeah. <laughs> I like how he nods twice. I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, but I am getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me I, <laughs> to admit, uh, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I have brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I am sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. While the sale must come first, do not feel limited to buying only it. Once you have it, feel free to stock up on anything else you think you may need. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. Oh, this is fun. Windfall Island. Oh, we gotta capture more pigs. Oh, is, th is he farting? This pig is farting. He's a stinky piggy. Tooting up a storm, he is. Let's see, is there a spot to uh, corral these stinky beasts? Probably did. No, does not need to go to the cafe. That's not it. That's just not it. And the problem is, even though that's not it, this isn't it either. Huh? Oh dear, pardon me, pardon me, guy. I was so fully and wholly absorbed in my dancing that I didn't even notice little old you standing there. I am taught. I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. You will come to know me as the world's Charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Ready, guy? A one, a two, a one, two. Say, guy, you know what I was just reminded of? Long ago, I met this delightful little guy who performed the most dazzling magic dance. A dance that turned night into day right before my very eyes. 
I can remember those fabulous dance moves, but I just can't seem to get that intricate rhythm down. You think you know the rhythm guy? I don't know the rhythm guy. Anybody here, Hegel? Do you know the rhythm guy? Is the rhythm guy actually Magic Mike? He said he had the magic dance, so... Ah, uh, Tingle. I see the same green clothes and the same green hat. By the look of you, I'd say, sir, could you by chance be a fairy? Wow. Goodness, did you feel my telepathy? That's why you saved me, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Do not worry. Tingle knows without you telling him, sir. Yes, sir. Tingle is my name. I've been looking for you and your kind for I too long to be one of the fairy folk. And yet, I was mistaken for some kind of troublemaker and put into this dreadful sort of place. How disrespectful. Please, Mr. Fairy, rescue poor Tingle from this place and take him to where you and your kind live in splendor. <laughs> Easy now. Easy now, Tingle. Small appearance in the Lynx Barrel Beat video, so it's spoiler-free now. Excellent. <laughs> I'm going to have to check that out after stream here, uh... Or maybe I might be able to pull it up on stream. Because you know what? It is getting to a point where I should probably think about raiding out. So as I'm uh, still recovering from my bout with COVID, I think that I need to uh, be a little smart about that. So I should probably think about raiding out here. But we can see if we can find that. If you can find the link to that, that would be really cool, AC. If you don't mind sharing that. Oh, the music is so nice in this game. Yeah, we can definitely check that out before we end stream. I'm going to keep this music going, though. This is really cool. Uh, let me see here. Let's go over here for a second. I'm going to give you some puppy cam. Take a peek at who's online, who can raid out to. It's from the era of Newgrounds animation, so the video itself may not be suitable for stream. Okay. Tell you what, I will uh, I will take a look at it between streams then. And I will, uh, if it's something I find that's suitable, then I'll play it um, a next stream, if that's okay. But anybody else, feel free to use that link for me, see. That's what we'll do. Just because I don't have a chance to pre-screen it. Music is so good. Um, let me see who's playing um, Wind Waker. Let's see if we can make some new friends tonight. We saw we have someone on a first playthrough, but they're on part three. I'm trying to avoid some spoilers, so that's uh, maybe not the route. Let's go. Um, let's go raid No Way Jose. It's been a while since we've been over there.
Yeah, that's where we're going to go. Let's see who's on from the stream team as well. Let me do that too. What? Let's uh, let's raid a stream team member who is playing Tomb Raider on PS One. Um, Space Robot Arm. They are playing some OG Tomb Raider. Let's do that. We haven't had the chance to raid them before, so let's let's uh, let's definitely do that. Um. I have a laundry list of thank yous. Um, so I'm just going to do them all verbally because the, the shout outs are just going to be crazy. <laughs> um, but I didn't give the official Twitch shout outs to Sandy and also to Chaotic Seekers. So we'll take care of that before we uh, raid out here. Um, AC, thank you for the resub at eight months. Thank you very, very much. Thank you to Melly the Belly for the raid. Sky Pacer for the three gifted subs and the biddies. Cafe Bun. Bun, thank you very much for the raid. Uh, fellow uh, player of Wind Waker tonight. Um, Wobble Pop, thank you for the raid and also the nine-month resub. Thank you for the Twitch baby there. Um, thank you for the combo raids from Roy's Parrot Club, Hobo Baggins, Sandy Coco, and Chaotic Seekers. Um, the hype train you guys kicked off with the 26-month uh, resub from Hobo Baggins. Six months from Sandy, um, the gifted from Hobo, the bits from uh, Sandy, Hagel, and Roy's Parrot Club, and also Hobo Baggins, um, the gifted subs from Hagel at five, and also uh, Pilgore with the gifted sub. You all are just insanely generous tonight. <laughs> I'm just beside myself. Uh, way too kind. It's, uh, it's been a really wonderful uh, first two nights back streaming after taking some time off. So thank you very, very much uh, for making them full of uh, fun and friendship. Um, looks like I need to wait another 30 seconds before I can give a shout out to uh, Chaotic Seekers. Uh, Friday, we're going to do some more uh, Final Fantasy V. We'll see where we end up. We end up finishing the game great if not uh, and then we'll have to postpone <laughs> final fantasy 16 for another week and a heads up on that too we are going to be changing final fantasy 16 streams over to youtube so that is going to be a change and uh we'll test it out you know first couple of fridays if we like uh the way it's going then we'll uh possibly continue to do those over there if not we'll uh bring them back over here on twitch but my Monday, Wednesday streams, those will stay definitely here on Twitch. And there's our shout out for Chaotic Seekers. And in case you missed the announcements for our, uh, for our raid, um, we're gonna raid to uh, Space Robot Arm. They are doing some Tomb Raider 1. They're also part of the Treppies stream team, so please be kind. Yeah, thank you, AJ. I'm getting there. I just had that lingering cough that's just kind of goofy, you know? <coughs> Excuse me for the cough there. Didn't hit the mutant time. Bun, thank you for the raid. Thanks for hanging about. Thanks for lurking all night. It's very nice to meet you. Um, so we are going to raid over to Space Robot Arm. And with that, everybody, please, please, please take care of yourselves. Stay hydrated. Stay healthy. Don't stay up all night playing Wind Waker, although it's so charming and it's hard not to, right? Uh, take care of each other. Just a little bit of kindness goes a long, long way. And until Friday morning where we play some more Final Fantasy V, Big cheers, everybody.
Big, big cheers. Uh, let me... There we go. There's a raid. <laughs> Have a wonderful, wonderful night. Grab the subs. Uh, raid message is the first one. Non-sub second message. Have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful night. And we'll catch you Friday morning. Cheers, cheers, cheers.